Kia ora, tenikato, hello and welcome back aboard the ANS Yamato. My name is Birdtross and this is my let's play of Star Lancer. Today we're going to be doing mission 22, one of the more boring missions at the end of the game here. But anyway, let's go ahead and head over towards the fish tank with our lonely little friend Klaus Steiner. Of course, I suppose this guy and the actual Klaus Steiner are sort of kind of have a bit in common, aren't they? Klaus Steiner, of course, uh, losing the entire squadron of the vampires, being the only survivor, and this guy being the only fish aboard the Yamato. So, yeah, there, there are certain things in common after all. Klaus was a fantastic name. I can't believe I didn't think of it myself. Anyway, it's time to head over towards the door, and it's time to listen to the AC News. This is Heidi Moore reporting for the Alliance Conflict News, December 30th, 2161. Alliance forces finally liberated Titan this week, overrunning the last pocket of Coalition resistance. The Coalition had held out in their mountain fortress near the settlement of Bannock until Allied Marines breached their perimeter. There are reports of rogue bands of Coalition troops hiding around Titan, but all organized defenses have been broken. Alliance engineers are hard at work rebuilding Titan's infrastructure to get much-needed supplies for its people and materials for the war effort back online. Alliance war crimes representatives have begun investigations on Titan. Reports are still vague, but in one settlement outside Talius, nearly 1,000 corpses were discovered. In more news, the Alliance fleet has once again struck hard at the Coalition. In a daring raid today, the 45th Tiger Squadron, supported by the Cougars and other units, destroyed the Coalition's second fleet command ship, the CS Baryag. The Coalition can no longer threaten a counteroffensive against Titan. This is Heidi Moore for the Alliance Conflict News, signing off until next time. That's pretty much the exact same report that we heard from the main newscaster at the end of the last episode, the dude uh, that does the, the big news, I suppose, uh, every couple of missions. Well, anyway, enough of that. It's time to head towards uh, the briefing room. Well, this is actually a new transition, isn't it? A couple people chilling, a couple people working, a couple people walking, a couple terminals being used. Very nice. Hello, intercom door thing. How are you today? Are you gonna let me in? Of course you're gonna let me in because I need to go to this briefing, otherwise I've got no idea what the heck I'm doing today without checking the internet. <laughs> let's go ahead and get into our seat at the front. Okay, people, let's get started. We're damaged and low on supplies, but the Coalition's going to help us out. Captain Mackay has formulated a plan to raid a Coalition supply depot the Kronstadt. The Tigers will take point and hit the Kronstadt's early warning satellites. Next objective is to take out Kronstadt's long-range comms tower. You'll have two minutes before they bypass our jamming signal. Once the comms tower is down, engage the depot's fighter contingent. With the fighters out of the way, take out the Kronstadt's turrets. The depot will be left defenseless, and our rippers and light cargo ships will move in to grab the supplies. As you're well aware, this transfer process will leave the cargo ships open to attack, so we'll be providing cover in case we get unwelcome company. With the cargo secured, Gamma Wing will move in to destroy the Kronstadt. Your final objective will be to escort the cargo vessels to Fort Bear, before jumping back to join the Yamato. Okay, that's it, people. Okay, so it's pretty much a mission 22. It's a babysitting mission. <laughs> Go in, deal with the bad lasers, look after the good guys, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the missile loadout. And we've got a Raptor in there. I think what I'm actually going to do for this episode is try out these Hawks. They have a little bit more of a range, don't they? And they actually, uh, the main difference, but I guess, between these and the Solomons is, uh, first of all, uh, I guess the Hawk has a higher range, but also the fact that they actually lock on. So we'll go ahead and pick up a single pod of those and we'll uh, leave our two screamer pods and a field pod there. All nice and good. So let's go ahead and exit the loadout computer and head towards the hangar deck. Dismissed. Oh yeah. Hey guys, I'm actually going today! Crap. Prepare to launch. Roger that control. Launch me out of the tubes. It is January 21st, 2162. Happy New Year! 
I apparently missed the Christmas and New Year's celebrations. Oh. Remember, Tigers, we can only jam the satellites for 60 seconds max. Everyone ready? Let's go. Alright. Ready to jump out. Looks like a trigger sounds exactly the same as Dice Man, which is uh, completely fine, of course. But anyway, let's go and change over to uh, Pulse Cannon. Yeah, that's good. And now we can jump. Sweetness. Oh man. 60 seconds, starting now. Take him out, ASAP. Uh, let's go for some different torpedoes other than those ones. Let's leave there those guys Schema. to deal with the front ones. Go for the front Selected. ones. There we go. So, uh, no, let's go for this one. So, uh, there's 15 uh, satellites here, right? And they come in groups of three, so there's five groups. And so, you don't really get much... You don't really get much of a window to actually destroy these satellites. They're very hard to take out in a timely fashion, so I'm going to try and use. Yeah. I'm going to try and use some of my missiles here if I can. There we go. Oh, nice one. Release countermeasures. They've got a lock on us. Fifteen seconds to go, Tigers. Come on. There we go. We've got fifteen seconds left. We're not doing too good on time here. Let's go for another Four, one. Three, two, yeah. One. <laughs> Crap. For it's fairly hard. It. There goes the element of surprise. Heads up! Incoming fighter wing! That's all we need. Come on, Tigers! The clock's ticking! Yeah, so that was fairly difficult. I've tried that a couple of times now, so... It actually is fairly difficult to pull off. Are these Cossacks? Oh, of course they are. I'll try and hit him with my screamers. There we go. Oh man, yeah, you're a good pilot, aren't you? Having to hit all your shields. There we go. One bad guy. Yeah, wasted a screamer, but that's okay. Yes. Yeah, so I wanted to try and get the uh, the snipe on those satellites, but it is fairly dang difficult. I just want to uh, show you guys that. That's about my fourth or fifth try, I believe, at that section. Not easy. Uh, you can't, I guess there's a little bit of RNG as well, depending, because there are a couple of different patterns that these satellites come in as well. If you can get them, that's great, and it pretty much means that you fight less fighters, so your kill board doesn't go up as high, <laughs> if that's something that you care about, so... Uh, really, when you have the time thing where you want to, you know, save on... Um, oh, okay, off they go. Yeah, there must have been a lot. Oh, there were a couple left. Okay, there's a couple more people going to be Mission at the base, basically. Go. Now jump out and hit the Kronstadt comms tower. You got 30 seconds max. <laughs> we're ready to jump out. That was kind of bad. <laughs> Just in case you were wondering, a couple of the ships got away there. We've got about a minute before they jump out back to the Kronstadt. If that's the right pronunciation, it's German, I believe. And then it targets the satellite dish for us, and a couple of Kurgans jumped in as well. Oh, man! Can I actually can I get in line with that thing? So a few screamers at it. Come on! Take out that comms tower! There we go. Good work, Tigers! Now hit those turrets! Uh no thanks. I'll fight this Kurgan. Okay, I'll save a few screamers for the other Kurgan that came in. How's it doing, bro? Shield's doing okay. You're a for the mind oh, of the not anymore. Lost a decent amount of our armor there. Well, let's see. Let's target him and go. Suck on this, you jerk! Whoa, Clausen. Okay, we're getting attacked in the back, I think. <laughs> it's been a while since I did the communications. There we go. Get some down. Let's go through more. Oh, X. You're going down. Whoa. <laughs> There you go, kind of chatting to the bad guys! Come on! Okay, we've got sabers here. Always the sabers. They must come off like an assembly line or something, these guys. Oh, map speed. Let's do some more of that. You and me, one on one. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> Bud Screamer rapper's backside. That's all they wrote. So let's go ahead and take the fighters out. Nice. And let's do the rest of those. I'm looking at a dead man. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Uh, shall I get the Nova Cannon out? I should have had the Nova Cannon out this whole time, shouldn't I? Just kind of fun, fun weapon. Oh, and I missed balls. Oh, oh, I missed again. Two misses. Third time's the charm. Eh, I'm getting attacked. There's too many guys around. Uh, let's see. Let's attack this dude. Gotcha. At least I could actually hit something. <laughs> We've got a saber right here. These these guys go down pretty quick, but there we go. Without the Nova Cannon. I should have tried it on the Cossacks, actually, shouldn't I? Okay, let's see if we can get behind him. Nice. 200k. Great, man. No, I don't think so. Uh, sorry, Mayday. You're just not late enough. <laughs> These guys aren't exactly that difficult. Oh, crap. Why did the nev nannies never come along? Oh, really? Have I actually been hitting him? And he wasn't taking... wasn't dying? What's oh, a Kurgan right here? How much damage do we do against a Kurgan? Okay, we do about half damage, so let's do another hit and he should be down. Or one more. Depending, apparently. Come on, man. There we go. Uh, no thanks. Well, apparently somebody took out the doors, didn't they? Yeah, so that's why that message came up. There are a few can images our way. Okay, we're doing okay on uh, armor, I think. I thought that smoke was me, but no, it's not. Someone's trying to take this dude out as well. Not to do it. I hope you guys appreciate the, the cannon use. I never used this thing as a kid, so I just want to try and get a decent play with it here on the LP. I've never seen anybody else use it on an LP, so... I just want to kind of use it a little bit more if I can, ideally. Man, there's a lot of fighters, though. Oh, yeah, I did hit him, didn't I? There you go. Okay, we've got one dude left, I think. Alright, let's get our weapon charged up. I thought I would have finished with the fighters by now. There we go, so that's it. Okay, so now we can take out these service doors. And there's probably not very many bad lasers left. So I can pretty much just do this fairly safely. Okay, where are these service doors? Right here. Okay, match speed. And I'll go ahead and use the Nova Cannon on the doors, why not? <laughs> yep. Careful. Right, let's get over to this other door apparently. Wasn't there another door already? Yeah, so there's there's another door right here, so we've gotta be a kinda optimize oh optimize that a little bit more. Okay, so apparently now we're matching speed after I, even after I fire. What the hell game? <laughs> nice. Okay. There goes the mammoth and rippers. And this is pretty much the boring part of the mission where these rippers turn up. Oh, hello. I believe you have something that belongs to us. Ah. Is that the red dragon leader? Wait a second. Did it like didn't we like kill you back in mission um what was it? It was quite a long time ago, but I definitely oh, remember no, no, no. killing you. Yeah. Shot, you, I've done away with Red Dragon, that's for sure. But he's back. You got him. How is that even possible? Man, we're just killing these guys like they're uh, like they're flies on the dashboard. That <laughs> is very awesome. Ouch. That's hurt. Okay, it's a guy called the Sabers, not flying a saber. Um. <laughs> you got him. He broke up your attack a bit early there, dude. Oh yeah, there's Red Dragon. 
and let's see. Let's see if we can get up behind him and actually hit him. Nice. <laughs> so once again, he was a bit of a pushover. Dealt with him pretty quickly there. No, oh, that Tempest is trying to get in front of me. I don't know who it is. But they're not having it. Because I've got a Nova Cavern. Yeah, oh. oh, missed. Gotcha. There we go. <sighs> right, so that's all the bad lasers dealt with. And now it looks like those guys are heading back towards the uh, the mammoth there because I got some got some stuff. Okay, very good. Or are you going back already? Okay, that those two dudes are coming in with their cargo pods and docking them with the mammoth. Okay, because you know the coalition has a docking system for their supplies that is apparently compatible. With that of the Alliance. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, there's a, there's, that's a, there's, there are a couple of weird little continuity areas like that in this game that make you just go, hmm? Why is that a thing? Anyway, let's actually take a look inside the Kronstadt. At the, uh, the docking procedure inside here. This is where the rest of these supplies are. Got a few sound effects as well if you get close enough. Very cool. Lining himself up. Tractoring it in. Clamping on. Oh, and the actual, uh... The actual cockpit rotates as well. That's kind of cool. And then obviously the thrusters on the end of those clamps, uh... Cause them to mount into the wall. <laughs> and then... Fly out. So yeah, that's, uh... Well then, that is how the Rippers get stuff over to there, and that's going to take another another couple of minutes. I mean, we, we, we've, just, we've literally just witnessed the next two to three minutes of my life, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut the video here, or, you know, speed the video up or whatever, and we'll come back once things heat up a bit. Okay, that's the last of the cargo pods docked, I think. Oh, the mammoth's turning. We've got some jump drives spooling up, and away they go. Yo! Oh. <laughs> that's gonna happen. And that is pretty much the Kromstadt done and dealt with, okay, isn't it? The Rippers have finished their job. We've got what we came for. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Amato's coming in to launch torpedoes? That seems a bit overkill game. What about Gamma Wing? Can't they just... Oh, there's Gamma Wing. Right, so in addition to Gamma Wing jumping in... This is Gamma. Torpedoes away. The Yamato is also doing this? Okay. I'll roll with it. And there go the torpedoes in the distance there. White streaks of smoke make them extremely easy to see. <laughs> Man, imagine those guys on board the Kromstadt just kind of panicking as they just literally can't defend themselves. Well done, Tigers. Now let's jump to Fort Bear before we get any more company. Okay, where's the victory music? <laughs> Whoa, look at those two halves gonna fly apart right there. <laughs> You know, I just want to fly between there, just just to just to say I did. You know what I mean? Ooh! <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and jump out. Oh, there's only three of us left. Holy crap! That was a lot of bad guys. Where is the victory music, man? Well done, tigers. Initiate landing procedure. 
Alright. Uh, let's see, let's see if we can send a communicator Hawkeye, shall we? What's your status? What is your status? She alive? It's not looking good. No, it's not. Well, we we gotta finish the mission, so it's sort of okay. Uh no, uh I wanna talk to the base, please. Permission to land. Permission to land. Where's the back of the ship? I'm lost. Request granted. Great job out there today, pilot. Oh ha ha yeah. Well guys, that was mission twenty-two. It was a little bit uh kind of a little bit boring, honestly. <laughs> Heap of fighters to kill, but it's just sort of for this point in the game, it's like we're literally just kind of going in, shooting the defenses down and babysitting the rippers as they do their thing. It seems a bit, it seems a bit, you know, beneath us, you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not too sure if I was a fan of that mission is just what I'm trying to say. Anyway, let's see what rating we got out of the mission. Looks like we got a half star rating. Woo! So even though we didn't kill all of those satellites, we uh, still managed to walk away with quite the victory there. Anyway, let's go ahead and read the debriefing. An outstanding performance. We took a vital opportunity to stock the ship with a significant amount of stores and provisions that are urgently required. This mission was vital, and the cargo units recovered from the Kronstadt... Kronstadt? Uh, I think I've been saying it with an M. It's an N, okay. We'll see us well past our next resupply. We have recovered enough to leave the ANS Washington a supply drop at our next relay point. The Pumas pass on their regards. Thanks for the food, boys, they say. <laughs> the protection of the Rippers showed great defensive technique and combat effectiveness and patience on my part. We now have rations for the foreseeable future and have no limit on our sweeps of the sector. Reflect on a good performance. The captain is extremely pleased. I haven't seen him in such good spirits for quite some time. Food and booze and beer and all the get the get the get all that good stuff is ready to go. That's awesome. Commander and Ripper. Oh, okay. That's it. We didn't get anything special for the mission. So babysitting rippers. <laughs> all right then. So we got 30, 30 mission kills. Holy crap! How many mission kills did we get last time? Not thirty. So, so we got. We got 13, okay, and we got 30 this time. Holy crap, that is a lot. That's gotta be a record right there. Bringing our overall kill count up to a whopping 419, taking us over the quadruple century. That is pretty fantastic. And we uh, didn't go up a rank or a level because we're at the max. Sweetness. Let's go ahead and take a look at the kill board, see how everybody's doing. Jake Tanner just pulling ahead there, Sean Oliver. Klaus Steiner kind of still in the action, Mark Bannister coming along as well. Uh, Dice Man sort of ever always lagging behind. Who else we got? Manfred Kogler. Alright, we've only got 13 people left now. I thought there were 14 a while ago. Looks like we lost one. One of these other characters that are not Im immortal in the, in the eyes of the plot of the game. So just before we finish off the episode, I wanted to take a look at the squadron profile and just the uh, interests of completion of the game. So we'll just go ahead and uh, check this out as well for those that want to read that. You can go ahead and pause the video. So basically this thing is... It, it's not current, is it? Because we've got the, our base ships the Reliant and it's saying that we're up and coming. Sort of at this point in the game we're pretty much the Alliance's elite squadron since the vampires and the Ronin got wiped out. We're, we're like the best, the best of the best sort of thing at the moment. But anyway guys, that is going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Star Lancer. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching Kia Kaha, and I'll see you in the next video.